Hello, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft Season 2 Episode... I believe this is either 40 or 41. I don't remember which one quite yet. Now, I did post on the community saying that this video was going to be a bit late. I'm having to record the day I am uploading this. So, I've been a little backlogged. I need to get some videos actually recorded so that I can actually have content for you guys. But, we are back. I have done a bit. This was done- okay. Minecraft, I get it. You're not happy. Why, you gotta rain on me. Anyway. You can see I've done a bit of work, not a whole lot. This was mainly done while I was half asleep last night, just kind of working through some of the stuff. I have a whole bunch of greenery. I have the start of what I want to happen over here. I want like a nice little archway to come, kind of come off this end and be on this end. So that's just the start to that. And the golem rave has started again. But besides that point, I did end up collecting the materials and put the back door on. Last time that area didn't have a door. It was just a hole in the wall. Now it has a door that matches the front same thing just smaller i don't know what i'm going to do with this back area i kind of just put a path leading off to this one so that it all kind of just congeals in one location i'm thinking that that may be where i end up putting the well like off in this area maybe i don't know yet we'll get there when we get there but i do have a lot of material the bees have been working very hard to get me some honeycomb so I'm going to get started on this, so we're just going to start off the video with a whole cut of me building. Okay, cutting back in. Now I have a good few of these windows in place, but I don't like how they look. Like these and these. They're touching on the interior, which makes me a little bit upset. Don't like how they look. Exteriorly, they look fine. I like how they look on the exterior. Like, take this one for example. It doesn't even look like they're even remotely close to one another. But due to me having to do the double layering, they're touching one another on the interior. And it's kind of irking me. Granted, this building isn't being built for its interior. It's literally just going to house a few librarians so they can get the heck out of my hair. But it's also just... Mm, I'm gonna have to hide those whenever I go to decorate. Okay, I'm back with an update. We have the staircase in. I still have to do the decoration and kind of like the support system of it. But this is the staircase. Bottom floor is completely done, just like you saw earlier. And I've started figuring out the top floor. I've redone this hallway a bit. And now fully goes into here, no issues. And I played with the idea of possibly having something in here but this space is so tiny that I think I'm just going to hide a doorway into this and have it just like a hidden type of room. It's not going to actually be something useful. But right now I'm just keeping it lit for scaffolding reasons because I still have to get the diorite and calcite up here. Speaking of which, I have to go grab all of that and see how much of this I can actually get done. Now, while I was working on just getting the materials together for being up here, um, I did something else down here. I felt like there was way too much spruce planks, so I did throw in a bit more spruce, strip spruce logs. So the same color, different texture down here. Now these areas are going to have bookshelves on them eventually. So there's going to be some bookshelves out here framing this area. So there's going to be a lot more stuff going on down here and a lot more different colors, but for the time being, I felt like that helped out a lot. Now, to see how far this goes. Okay, just to make things a bit more interesting, these are door frames for context. This one and that one. But, since I'm going to make this a floor of its own, yes, there's going to be a whole other staircase probably on this side going up one more floor so that I can have the nice big pretty windows up top and still keep some semblance of staircase to these rooms here, which I have finished out. There is like a storage room here and then another room here and then of course this room I showed off earlier so since I want to keep access to those rooms I think I'm gonna put one floor here which is gonna to be topped off 
at this point. So that's going to end up probably being some stairs, maybe? Stairs, slabs, something. Or I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I may actually lower this door frame down by one. Or I may just do a slightly different door to what I have down there and just do a full spruce wood trim instead of like the, uh, hold on a second. It'll come to me in a second. Um, trap doors. There we go. Finally, instead of doing the trap door doors that I typically do, maybe just doing the classic spruce with spruce stair trick here on the top floors. Since they're not going to be seen as much as the bottom floor ones, maybe just doing this trick will help. I don't know, but I'll come back. I am running out of calcite, though. Which means I may not get completely done with the library. I want to get most of the way done. Like, the bottom floor, completely done. Completely functional. Uh, this floor could be functional here in a second. After I get this wall in and this wall in and then do the interior, and then this floor is functional. I just have to get there. So for sure, this is going to at least be 95% done. Okay, second floor with third floor staircases are in. I did put a little bit of a railing here. I took care of the calcite you could see through here. Doors are all in place. I don't know quite how I want to do these balconies yet. Look how nice that pink sky is. But I don't know quite how I want to do these balconies yet, so I'm just going to leave them as they are. Just these little markers for the time being. So I can kind of figure out what the heck I'm going to do with them. Because I didn't even know they were going to be here until now. Oh, look, a nice little skeleton. But yeah. I don't know quite how I'm going to get them to work just yet. I'll get there when I get there. But for now, we're on to the third floor. skeleton over there being chased by a wolf. He's still going. Should really stop sleeping so I can start getting phantoms, but things like that are just so funny to watch. Oh no, the zombie saw me. It's gonna bust down my doors. Ah! Okay, and there we go. That floor is in. I did raise this floor up by one, so we do have a bit more space down here, and I did put a little bit more supports on this pillar. We could probably actually do that on always. And there we go. Now, one thing I haven't done this entire time is go view this from the outside, but I have stayed up all night, so there may be a few skeletons, like, lingering around. In fact, I hear one. Hello. Okay, I like it from this end. Okay. Looks a bit blocky. I think the balconies are going to help with that blocky effect whenever I get them fully in, but the problem is getting them in. I do like how this portion looks, though. Okay, I think if we get more of the greenery up top, I'll like this space a lot more. My issue is, is on the corners, or on the back side of it, there's a lot of blockiness. But the problem I'm having with it is it looks great from this angle, and even from this angle in here. It looks great from the street view, is the thing. But when you come around to the back of it, it looks off. Like here, I feel like it could benefit from having two windows instead of one. To kind of offset there being one door here. And here, I feel like I could spread the windows out by one more. But then it's just going to end up looking like a face. <laughs> don't really know how to deal with that one. Or I could just 
take this out and do another set of windows beneath it. But then again, I don't like how that would look in my mind either. Either way, this side of it looks like a face. And I don't much like it. Either way, I need to get this stone trim all the way around this. Because it's supposed to actually go all the way around the building. So let me quickly go run and grab some stone brick stairs. And I'm going to work on getting that finished there. Okay. To solve the issue of them feeling not supported, I did put a pillar in here. And I am going to decorate the top of this to take away some of the uh, blockiness of this. I may end up doing like a roofing piece on top of these. Just to bring in a little bit less of a blocky feeling. But this is just a trial one right here. This is the smaller one. I feel like I'm going to need possibly two pillars on this one. Because I did expand this out by one on either side. So to match the windows, I may have to do two win uh, two pillars on this one. Now excuse me while I go actually try to accomplish that. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, no, I have not yet finished what I am doing. But this wandering trader has something very big. Mangrove saplings. I do not have access to mangrove just yet. I'll also take the fire coral. But I did just spend a whole lot of time getting some emeralds up. So, I have plenty of stuff to spend on them. I have eight. That is amazing. If you weren't keeping up with Minecraft, let's be honest, if you're watching my channel, you probably have. But, mangrove is the new wood type. I have not found a mangrove biome in... Excuse me. I am talking. But I have not accessed mangrove in this world yet. So, having just some saplings here is great. But the tree is freaking huge, so we're gonna wait to make anything with that. And there's the other two sets of pillars. I wish I could add more cracked into these, but seeing as we can't make like uh, stair variants, I can't add as much cracked stone brick as I would want, or cracked uh, deep slate brick. That's something I don't want. Don't come out from down there. Stay down there. But I now have these pillars, which break up the blockiness of this back area a lot, just having the pillars here. Now I'm hoping that the roof pieces can do that for up there as well. Also, an update. This cactus farm is working. It's just working exceedingly slowly. When I came down here to actually just sit down here while I was just eating my food and just waiting for something to happen, I found out that a lot of the cactus that spawns here destroys itself on the cactus b below it. So I'm not going to get as much cactus from here, not like I'm going to need a whole lot, but it is producing. Which is a great thing. Okay, that definitely removes the blocky look that I had before. I'm going to go grab somebody from my house and get like a second opinion on this. But so far I think the roofing and stuff helps. I may end up changing those to be diorite but for the time being I really feel like this helps a lot okay upon getting a second opinion essentially all I was told was add greenery and it will start to look right essentially the very much sims livelihood of if you don't like it put a tree in front of it that that's the stuff that I got as an opinion <laughs> so Whenever I come back to add greenery, I'll probably like this a lot more. But for the time being, I'm going to leave this as it is, because the building itself is complete. After I put these few little touches in. But the building itself is complete, which I'm happy with. It's been a long time coming, because this build has been going on for a while. Next big build that needs to get finished is the dang tree, and I'm deeply regretting ever starting it. But, this is now up. Now, all I have to do is get the decor inside. I can finally remove all the stuff from the interior of this place. But I think I want to run and put it, these leaves I have just sitting in here. I think I want to run and put some out there. Just to kind of like show you guys what I mean by greenery. 
You see how I have all this stuff kind of growing up through here? That's going to go all the way around the building. I'm not going to do this one because the wandering creator seems to have claimed that one. But I do plan on adding leaves and things to this entire thing. Like back here is going to be filled with just leaves. And it's going to go up the building back here and stuff like that. All of this is going to be greenified. So we are going to have vines climbing up these. There's going to be flowers and stuff planted. So I'm hoping, yeah, that actually does. I'm sorry. Do you mind? I'm talking. Oh my word. I don't know what cave is down there, but I need to go down there and light it up. But the greenery does help bring a lot more dimension to it. So as these vines climb up, I'm going to come back and do this another video. But since the building itself is done, I'm going to call this done. But the greenery and stuff, whenever I come through to decorate and figure out what else is going to come up here, that's that's going to be next okay, step. And that's where all of my like stack and a half of leaves went. I do love how that feels. The very overgrown, it takes away from the blockiness. I'm definitely going to have to do that across this entire back end of the building. Because that helps out so much more. Okay, the next thing I kind of want to handle is going back to the nether and doing a bit more netherite mining. Now, I'm probably not going to get all that much. Not like I get much very often anyway. But I'm just going to go in there. I wanted to see about getting any netherite at all. Because every little bit helps as I'm working towards netherite armor. Also, as I'm recording this, I just found out that we're supposed to be getting uh, trimmed armors in the next update. Making netherite something I haven't really achieved yet. Even a harder to get. Which I'm mildly concerned for. <laughs> I already have such a hard time getting the netherite as it is. Getting it that way is going to be so much harder. Although, I am excited for it to be harder. Because then that drives you to do a bit more. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the nether. It's one of my least liked places. Okay, now heading out, I have three more pieces of ancient debris. Okay, time for a redo. Silk is going to end up being my next piece of netherite. Now, both my pickaxes are netherite. I think my next step is to finish getting all my tools. My armor isn't exactly the best. My boots were the only thing I was mainly worried about getting armor-wise. I think there are a few other things I could get on my leggings. My chest plate is kind of good. I could probably go ahead and turn that into netherite. And my helmet, but my pants, in general, they're just lacking a bit. Okay, and with the library done, and silk now netherite, matching my fortune pick, I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!